All right, as promised, I told you guys I would do a oil change roughly five days. It's been a little longer than five days, maybe seven days. And uh, we're going to do an oil change to see if the oil that was going back into the carburetor, possibly uh, coating the top of the pistons, that black stuff that's on top of the carbon buildup. Let's see if that kind of rid it that effect and let's see if we have brown oil. So, and remember that was without a oil filter. So we did not do the oil filter. So this time we're gonna dump everything and put three quarts of oil in it. Um, here we go. Just like always, give a shout out to my tool bag. I put a message in the top, how to make that tool bag. Tell him man, this tool bag comes in good hands. So. Like I said, K&N style type. This is what I've been using lately. The high flow uh, filtro. It looks just like the K&N one. I don't know if it possibly is, but whatever. You know, everybody that has a rendition of this, they always say this is the company that makes it for K&N. But I've been using this. This is what they sell down at the ride factory. And they got some other ones, so I figured I'd get this a try. But I like it because it has that nut on the end. And you don't need this old school one. Let's get you some uh, a ratchet. And a socket and go about your business. Also, too, I thought I had enough of uh, oil, but apparently I don't. And since we only dumped three in there last time with this Valvoline, it's ironic. I've got two of these, and I got one of those, and I've got this one as well, which is a partial. So I'm that guy. So when y'all say, hey, what type of oil you use? Look, man, this is what I normally use is this Bell Ray. But unfortunately, I don't have all three of them. And I'm not going to buy all three of them. I'm going to just go ahead and use up this Valvoline and make it do what it do. But Because I want to see if the color, the color at least has cleaned up. So let's go ahead and... treatment in it maybe three times in the last couple of days and I've gone through maybe, maybe four tanks of gas and had a treatment in maybe three of those three out of the four so hopefully the top of the pistons have been clean we'll see all right now we got the oil drained out of there we'll go ahead and take this fuel top Oh, see this that high flow. I say high flow. 2012 Road King. There's the number in case you want to go get you one. And it's the black. Right there. If it asks me, it look just like it. Don't tighten it over tight. And that's one hand too. But it's another thing too, remember? I just put this on here 2,000 miles ago. And I'm not changing the washer. I'm not changing the washer. And 
I clean off the magnet. Magnet looks good. Barely any residue on there. And we still got good lubrication on that uh with the oil. But yeah, my my mechanic down at the rod factory. He said he don't really use the synthetic. He use a regular, so I just been using a regular. And then too, if you're traveling, sometimes it might be hard to get synthetic, depending on where you are. If you're outside the city, more than likely, some people probably don't carry synthetic. So, it is what it is to each his own. Remember, this is your bike, so you can do what you want to do. So don't make a comment and tell me about how good this is, this oil is to that oil. It's your bike, you can do what you want to do. What I'm gonna tell you. Pulling on it so tight. It ain't gotta be that tight. <sighs> That's that. So we got the bottom button up, we got the oil filter in there, and we good to go. Now we gotta start putting some of these. These are what you wanna call some of these power heads in there. There we go. And just in case you don't believe me about what oil I'm putting in here, sure am. Here it comes. I'm gonna turn around so you can see it. Right there, there it is. Right there. When it gets to the end, let it sit just like that dirt. Like that dirt. I'm gonna set my time on my watch for three minutes and let it drip. I want all my oil. I'll be back in three minutes. All right, that's been three minutes. Here we go. We got that bell ready. It's three minutes. Ooh, bell raise. We'll crank it up, let it run. I'm back. And check it and see where it is. And we'll go from there, like always. Check it one more time, see if we can get a better reading. See the tip. Bring it out of there. All right, now, let's say we've got, it's got five. So if you ask me, I think I'm gonna leave it there. You know what? I'm gonna put two ounces in it. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, here we go, man. We're back. When I got back, I still had the same, the same results on my dip stick. Took it around the block. Did um, what did I do? I put three quarts in, two ounces, and came back around the block. It did the same thing. It was still at I had five at the top. So normally. What I got in my garage is the three quarts, 16 ounces, fill it up. So what I did instead of the 16, 
I put 10 ounces in it. So in combination with two ounces I did before I went to the gas station, then I put four, two ounces, eight plus two is 10. So I put 10 ounces in it and uh, that's where we are. It's on a rest right now for 10 minutes. I had it running and now and then I'll t check it again when the 10 minutes up. When I was in Indiana and it was fairly cool, I ran it just like this with the ride free cover on it. Now that I'm back, I had the big cover that it came up, came with, and I was right back to my 190 miles. So we're gonna run it and see if the temperature affects the engine, which overall I'm probably sure it does. But at the end of the day, I think it's breathing. And then here's something else that we recognize. Remember last time I said when I took it for that rod, that the uh, air filter was pink. I don't really see that same pink. I see just red. So I'm trying to think that that other outside air cover is kind of restricting the air. And then not only, I don't have any blowback, but what I am getting is when this oil filter gets hot, all this red stuff that we're putting on that can in is blowing all over this place. So it is what it is, man. We're gonna figure it out. Maybe I put too much on there. And maybe that's what the blow, what that all that uh, oil, which is blowing back, is getting. So we'll keep it going, man. We're trying to find a solution, and eventually we will find a solution. So, but I think there is no oil leaking. That's just a air filter uh, recharge kit that's blowing back. So with that said, man, I'm fixing to button this up. I bring you back in 10 minutes, and we'll check the dipstick, and we'll go from there. Here we go, let's check it. And this too, I do realize, once I took it down to the uh, gas station, come back, that oil is honey color, honey color. Well, here we go. Get it in there. See? about see what we got all right that looks good let me grab it i don't know if y'all can see that but what is it it's three away from the top i'm leaving it right there three away from the top and that's how we roll right there all right that's where we're gonna leave it it's three away from the top and we good to go and it's honey colored too it ain't slightly brown dark black whatever it is honey colored so there we go man there we go we gonna see and i think we're gonna do this one at 77k so 77k to 82k is what we what we stretching for and then we'll see what color the oil is so we'll go from there and I'll see y'all at 82K and we'll see how it goes. So this hunt to get honey color oil is on, man.